I'm Jennifer Angel and this is my overview message for week June the 24th. Now there's a couple of things that are happening this week that are really quite exciting. So some supportive and some challenging aspects. So this is what I always like to say, life is full of experiences and situations that support and challenges and this week that's certainly evident in the star chart. So first of all, Jupiter, which is the planet of abundance and expansion, also the planet that governs spirituality, foreign, um, foreign affairs, and um, travel as in long distance and knowledge, the gathering of knowledge and the gathering and understanding of knowledge on a, as a, at a deeper level. So a broader level of knowledge, a deeper level of knowledge and certainly a, a more spiritual and inner sort of um, level of knowledge. So Jupiter is on the move this week. It's going to transit into the sign of Cancer. Now, Cancer is a very intuitive sign. It's a water sign. So this is going to help just to, for everybody to really get in touch with who they are and and tune into your instincts. If you can really learn to work with your right hand, left brain, your logic and your instincts, then you know you really got you really have it made. So I think that's a sort of one of the lessons of life for humanity is you know. To to work with the we are I believe spiritual beings in a, a physical incarnation so we're working with the spirit and the and the density of the physical incarnation and we want to work with both because we are human beings okay um, all right so back to Jupiter so that Jupiter is this transit is going to be a year so it's a 12 month transit give or take a week or two okay so it's going to mean something different apply to a different area of life for each star sign so a different solar house that is and if you go back to your individual readings then you'll be able to you know pull up and check what that area is and we'll be talking more about this as we go on on um, my um uh, jenniferangel.com New York Daily News site. There will be a full article uh, next week uh, or this week rather because of course I'm doing the video in advance um, on Jupiter and also a good blog on the Mistress of Astrology site so you can learn a little bit more about what this means what this means overall and what it means for you so I love Jupiter I call it the lucky planet so but you still got to work with it you know we still have free will so as I say often don't leave everything up to fate okay now the challenges this week in the same sign on the same day the 26th Mercury, the planet of communication, media, Mercury takes in short distance of travel and also is, is siblings. But it's commerce and communication, media, publishing as well, and Jupiter is all about publishing as well. Um, in this, in the same sign, Cancer is going to go retrograde this week. Now, Mercury goes retrograde about three or four, say three or four times a year for about three weeks each time. So the actual retrograde period is, say, uh, roughly three weeks. Now, it's always the turn, which is called the storm, the couple of days before and after a planet goes retrograde, in this case Mercury, which can be the most unsettling. And I love it, like one of my fellow astrology colleagues, Eric Francis, always puts an analogy about when the boat turns and you get all that sort of swishy sort of stormy water, that's like the stormy waters of the Mercury retrograde either side of the retrograde date. So in this case, it's going, it's going to be um, stationary on the 26th and then it'll go retrograde of June. It's going to be stationary direct on July the 20th, just checking my notes here. And so around the July the 20th, of course, we will talk more about it during, you know, when we get up to that point, will be another storm where you get that sort of unsettled business. Now, the period in between, it settles down. However, as Eric also <laughs> says, one of his favorite sayings is Mercury is still Mercury. Okay, so communication mix-ups can happen. Travel arrangements can get totally blown out of order. Um, you want to back up anything to do with your commuter, uh, computer, so anything to do with communication, commerce, media, 
don't make assumptions, don't take anything or anyone for granted, um, and uh, you know, just try and double check the details. So it's you know, if your flight's been cancelled, then you want to know before you get to the airport, not when you're out there and have to sit around for three, four or five hours or whatever. Okay, so that type of thing. Don't rush out the door without checking that you've got your keys, and don't if you're driving or walking, don't try to run a red light. Okay, and of course, you know, no talking on the phone. So, and, and in you. New York here now it's actually you can get fined um, it is an offense to uh, talk or text on the phone when you're driving so I don't know about the other states and of course around the world but that's how serious it is and of course Oprah as we know has made that um, has highlighted that and been a um, groundbreaker in making that sort of happen as well Okay, now the other thing that's happening this week is Venus is on the move. Venus is going to move in to um, Leo and uh, that, of course, also is going to represent a different house, which is a different area of your life for each star sign. So go back in and um, have a look at your individual readings to find out what that is. Okay, so all in all, it's a, and it's an exciting week. So as I started off to say, there's um, um, supporting, supportive aspects and some challenging aspects. So that's what life is about. Love and luck to everybody. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, thank you for those that are crying about my little puppy dog, Yogi, who's asleep on his sofa bed. He is a sofa bed under my desk. So he's just a, a little bit spoiled. Um, so we lucked out when we found each other, I think. But he's uh, he doesn't look like he wants to come up and say hello today. We'll try and get him up next week. Love and luck to you. Thanks for watching. I'm Jennifer Angel.